Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I finally got to go back to my um, church um, flea market, uh, church um, sale, um, whatever you want to call it, charity shop. Um, some of the other ones aren't open yet, but they opened theirs today. Um, I don't know if they'll have the same hours because of volunteers and stuff like that because it's volunteer run. Um, but I did get a box of stuff today. Not that I needed anything, but I was happy to go there because I've still been getting donations and stuff. Um, so I was pretty stocked. Um, first, I'll show you guys what I got. Obviously, I got this truck. It's homemade. It actually has our father's name on it, our priest of the church. Um, and the other priest does woodwork. So I think this cane was like maybe a gift from him. It was from 2012. Um, and he must have donated it to the... Um, father must have donated it to you know the charity shop to sell or whatever um so it's this truck all made out of wood obviously um i'm not sure what it says up there he kind of did it you know like um what do they call that so not solder is it soldering um uh, you know like burnt him with um and there's other writing on it um, but it's got father's name. Where did I see father? It's Father Allen. Is it on here? Yep, Father Allen. It's actually for dominoes. So it comes with this. And um, it took a little bit to get this off because it's wood. So actually, I think all these wood pieces are handmade too. Yep, they're all handmade dominoes. So it's a whole set. So it takes a little bit to get this off. I think it maybe needs a little sanding there. Um, it was hard to get open. You know, of course it warps with, you know, the weather. So yeah, they're all homemade, you know, woodworked dominoes. So I thought that was really cool. So I picked up that. I won't close it all the way, but he made like a little... Did little scenes on it. There's a domino there. He did um, like a little kind of western scene there, country scene. And then it, the truck does fit. Um, there's a little, where does it go? Oh, down this, on this way. So it goes like that. So I got that today. I got this um, tin of crock pot uh, recipes and cards. So you guys know I love collecting just the blank recipe cards. So there's a lot of recipe cards in here. Not a lot, but like, you know, a handful. And plus I got another one that had a lot. And then it's got a lot of the dividers and plus recipes. Um, I don't know if this was one of those kits. You know, like a, some of them, you, you know, you get into the club and then you keep getting more recipes orange date nut bread so that sounds good so i'll go through some of these and you know i'll see what recipes i like and then some of them i use in crafting and i collect you guys know i collect the um oh my god the recipe boxes so i got that and then i got another one here which has more blank recipe cards because I collect the recipe cards. Um, here, this one's really cool. This is from the um, 200 of the best. So obviously this is one that you just bought full already. 200 of the best recipes in one box from Home and Garden. Um, obviously we probably all have the Home and Garden cookbooks. Um, but it, yeah, it comes with a good stack of blank cards so you can add your own. Um, this one I'll probably keep intact. Um, like that. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, it's got a lot of the recipe cards. Um, chocolate cake. Blueberry buckle. Um, we'll see. I might keep it like this and just have it, you know, with my other cookbooks. Fall fruit soup. Mm. Side dishes, pastas, fish and shellfish, poultry. We'll see. So yeah, I got that.
I got this cute little candle set. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, retain instructions, you heat safe container. It's just this kind of little, oh, okay. Um, you get this teeny little heart shaped candle. It's got like little painting around the edge. It's just a little gift pack. Um, you get this little flower thing here underneath. I didn't really look at it. I just thought it was kind of cute. So I grabbed it underneath. It looks like those little, um, incense. I think they're called that you can put. That's what that little hole is for. Those are little incense underneath. I just saw the little lotus leaf. Um, I'm not sure what these things are. They're just like decorative or if you actually melt them, maybe they're little melt, uh, wax melts. I'm not sure. Uh, but I thought it was like a little cute set, whether I keep it or put in happy mail, um, friend mail, whatever you want to call it. So I thought that was kind of cute. So I grabbed that. So, uh, I got this little set, which I thought was cute. I've never seen anything like it. I guess it came that way. I thought maybe someone had put, had put it like this. Um, cause yeah, the scissors actually go down. There's scissors. There's a little, um, thing for your pins, pin cushion. Then there's all these, um, um, threads. And then there's two, three, um, thimbles. There is some buttons in there. Um, and it's all wrapped, so I guess that must be the way it came. Yeah, it's all, you know, so I guess that's the way it came. So I got that. that i never seen one like that, so I thought maybe someone had put the scissors, but there's actually a space where the scissors go. So it's never been opened. So I thought that was really cool. I got this little thing of beads, purple beads and stuff. It come, had the little container. Um, this little container they must have fell out of, so. Um, and then there's some wire in there, it looks like. It looks like someone had started them. Oh, there's some other little charms. Looks like someone had started to make something. Oh, so there's this cute little um, pendant heart kind of um, animal. What do they call that? Animal print. So it looks like someone had started to make a little necklace. And then there's all these little purple beads. I'm not sure if they're glass or plastic, but it doesn't matter, you know, for whatever project. You guys know I like magnets for the fridge or just, you know, bulletin board or whatever. Uh, I saw this one. It says, to a friend, um, today I stopped and thought what a wonderful friend I have in you. It's just a cute little magnet. Kind of a 3D little. So I thought that was cute. I'll put that on the fridge after. I found this cute little sewing box. Um, I would have bought the box anyway. Um, just got all these little sewing things on, but then I opened it, which was nice and it's full of thread. So just different colors, white and black, yeah, oh, yellow. Oh, that's pretty, pretty purple. Some pink, just all different kind of threads. So that's kind of cute. Looks like it needs a little bit of cleaning. I see you guys know I love miniature. I saw this little set. I thought that was cute. Um, just a little, um, a little bear sitting on a chair with a little, um, little, um, Oh my god, grandfather clock and the mantle over the fire. So I thought that was a cute little set. They had this cardstock pack. It was only a dollar, so I wasn't going to get it. But then I was like, oh, you know, you can always use it sometime, you know, because I have like this color and I probably even haven't opened it yet. But I was like, you know, for a dollar, they're usually five. So, you know, this, what, what would this be? The paper studio 
is that Michael's or Hobby Lobby, one or the other, or maybe they both have the paper studio, I'm not sure. Um, but for a buck, I was like, you know, for card bases and stuff. Um, I got this thing here. Actually, does this open up? This was full of, um, like, some buttons in there. There's some um, more thread. There's this thing here. I wasn't sure. I just grabbed it because I was trying to grab, you know, went to the, to the, um, to the craft section, you know, where they try to put craft stuff. So I was just trying to grab, you know, <laughs> not grab, but just, you know, hurry up and, you know, because it's the first day back open. So, you know, not to be greedy, but, you know, I want to get my craft stuff. Oh, this is kind of cute. Oh, it's got little, little uh, pictures where you can put the stuff. So you can put your little um, safety pins, your buttons, your pins, your um, thimble, your your little, well, this would be either one thing of thread or a small one there. So, and then that's where the middle, you put your needles. I'm sure there must have been a thing probably that went on top of it that's missing. I don't see it in there. So, yeah, but that's kind of cute. That's retro. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything in there. But, yeah, there's some old pins. Um, here's a cute little bottle with some thread in it. So that's cute. That is cute. So yeah, I was trying to get, so, like, I got a lot of stamps today. Um, some of them, you know, or mo a lot of them I probably won't keep. I'll probably either put them in the sale or, or I'll donate, or not donate, but I'll, um, well, if I donate, they'll go to the, to the, um, where I work, the activities. Um, I got this. I know this is for, like, um, y yarn work, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but I saw, you can do other stuff with this. Because I saw these big, like, safety pins. Not safety pins. Well, kind of. Um, so I thought these were kind of cool because you could put beads on these or whatever. Um, I'm not exactly sure what these are for. Like I said, someday I like to get into needlework. Not needlework, but um, like learning how to quilt and stuff. I'm not exactly sure what these, not well, quilting too, but um, oh my god, knitting and crocheting. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure what these are for, but I just thought they were kind of cool pins or whatever. Or even decorative if you wanted to hang like a tiny little towel or something, and you know, whatever. So I just kind of like those. So there was a bunch of them in here. Um, there's a circular knitting needle in here. There's a little uh, French size. I'm not sure if that's for shows you the size of needles or something. Yep, for is a knitting measure. So I guess these must be for knitting. What else is in here? Oh, there's some little needles. Or not needles, but... I think these are for crochet. I'm not sure. Maybe they're knitting. There's some little things. Other little round things. I'm not sure what these are for. Lots more of those little hooks. This little, yeah, so I, I liked that. I got this three little book set, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, there are these dot to dot one. Um, it's kind of like more than 120 amazing puzzles, but it's like, you know, kind of a, a dot to dot for adults. Uh, you know, like with a tiny little, you know, I just thought it was kind of cool whether I do it or like I said, put it in friend mail or just whatever. Um, so yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. So I got that. Um, then there's this mazes. I don't, I mean, I might do the dot to dot, the mazes. Um, they're kind of cool pictures. I like the pictures. I don't know if I would ever do the mazes, so I'd probably put that in friend mail. Um, they would make cool backgrounds for mixed media or something like that. So maybe, a, you know, friend mail, someone could do something with that. Um, yeah, there are some cool graphics and stuff in there. 
Um, then there was this one, Pixel Puzzles. This is kind of like paint by number. You get there all these tiny little, you know, you get the colors on the side. Um, you try to match the colors with, you know, your markers, your pens, whatever. And then you just kind of go by A or whatever, and you would fill in that color. Um, they are so tiny, though, so that would take a while, and I would wear glasses, probably. Um, there's two on both sides, so I would probably use maybe colored pencils, or I probably wouldn't use an ink on this. Unless you have, I don't know, a gel pen or something that doesn't go through, I would try it on a regular piece of paper first. Um, so, yeah, I got the three of those. Um, and the last thing I got was, I got three things of, um, stamps. I think they're all stamps in here. I think this one has some, this one has some inks in here. Whether they're any good or not, I don't know. Well, this one has a lot of, on the bottom, there's a lot of, um, A lot of um, erasers. Some of these I think I already have, so I'll probably put these in like in friend mail. Um, like there's a cupcake. Um, you only need so many cupcakes and stuff. Like I think I either have this one or I have a version of it. So probably like friend mail. Like I think I might have this one actually. It looks like one from Hobby Lobby I think, or Craft Smart. I think that's Michael's. So I think I have that one. So that could end this one too. Obviously, these have been well used, and I think these are probably from a kid because even an adult, adult wouldn't get it that dirty. But they still work fine. Obviously, we know that. So I think I have all these. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like I think these were like the two dollar ones, you know, that we all buy because they're two dollars. Um, that one. So I think all these will go in friend mail. And there's um, your spectacular. I don't know if I have that one, but. I don't know if I would use it. So, I mean, you could just use the glasses if you wanted to on a separate piece of paper and cut them out and use them for something else. Um, then it comes with, oh, that's an eraser. I thought it was a, it's like a little, oh, here's a little tiny love one. Um, little frog. A little spider. A lot of the, then there's like a ton of little erasers in here. I know some people collect the, the little erasers, so that might be, you know, cute and friend mail. It's always amazing how you can, they can fit it in there, but you can never get it back in. Well, we'll leave it like that. Okay. So then we got this bag. Um, this is like one of those big rubber stamps. I'm not really into the foam stamps. Sometimes I'll see um, some of these I'll buy. Uh, like this one's kind of cool with the the frame. I like that. That's kind of cool with the musical notes. I kind of like that, but I'll probably put it in friend mail maybe. There's this one. Looks like a Halloween. Oh, it has pictures on the back. That's cute. Um, this one's a heart. This is a border. It looks like um, it's supposed to be kind of like flowers, berries. Another Halloween. These are cute. Another one of these. I have a lot like that. So, you know, I do collect stamps like we all do. That's pretty. Um, so that's that bag. And I'll keep buying stamps. Like, I didn't look at any of these. I just kind of grabbed them. <laughs> I mean, if they're a million dollars, obviously, you're not just going to grab. But, you know, for the prices we pay, you know. Um, it's good for friend mail and stuff. So. And the last bag. Uh, 
a couple big ones in here. Um, this is good for a background. Um, I don't think this one's ever been used. I think I have one like this. Um, so this would be good for, um, you know, friend mail. There's this one, like kind of like an Aztec kind of Native American one. I don't really care for that one. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's cool, I guess. It's okay. It's just not my style. Um, so I'd probably put that in friend mail. There is this one. Kind of reminds me of um, kind of like a checked pattern, you know, like on a Raggedy Ann dress or um, something like that. Country kind of, you know, of. I don't think I would use that either. That kind of goes with that set, that one I just showed you. So I, I don't know if I would really use that one. Um, this one's cute. It's kind of like a Paris theme. I like that one. And I know it's hard to see. That's really cool. Well, that's cute. I think I have one of these, like a sunflower that's never been used. I think I have one of those, so. Yeah, I'll keep buying stamps, but I, it's like ones I have already or ones that are similar. I'll uh, probably, you know, um, it's kind of cute. Little um, soda. Yeah, ones like little fish. Ones I have or that are similar, you know, I'll start to... <laughs> Looks like a little ink spot. That's kind of cool to you. Um, this one, it says, please correct with a little spider holding a pencil. I guess a teacher can use that during the... This one is presents. This one's a sun. You know, that would probably go... Um, fishing... Fishing you happiness. Okay, that would be cute on a Father's Day card, I guess. Here's another one. Oh, this is from Hallmark. It says super. You can tell that's old. It's like a super, so that must be like the other one. Um, this one is... Oh, that's kind of cute. It's funny. I don't know if I'd ever use it, but it's kind of cute. A star. Oh, that's cute. I like that one. A little milk jug. Another little flower. Another little star. That's kind of cute for like a country theme. Um, police correct. It's kind of that's the same as the other one, except for on a little baby's feet. That's cute. Oh, look at this one. It's, uh, is that Loose? No. Is it Lucy? I can't remember the Peanuts gang. There's a special delivery. That's cute. And there's two more. Uh, looks like a little maple leaf, maybe. And a snowflake. So, yeah. I think probably 75% of these I'll put in friend mail. Um... Yeah, they're cute. Like I said, for the price, you grab them. Um, for stamps, because you guys know a lot of us that collect stamps or stamp addicts, you have to grab them. Like I said, unless you see a price tag like 20 bucks, and then it's like, well, you know, I'd look through first, and, you know. So, yeah, I hope you all are having a good day. I hope your shots open soon, and that we all get back to normal soon, and uh, things settle down. Um, like this channel, please ring that bell, and I will talk to you later.